Hi, my name is PJ, and I'm here to talk about how math is used in video editing programs like this one right here, which is DaVinci Resolve, but specifically how the motion graphs and motion graph editor works. So there's a couple things that you need to know first. The method for tracking time for videos is split into frames or stills of a video, so we usually edit in 24 frames, which represents one second of time. When we import a video or any other element into the program, they have set values for certain parameters that we can control, like position, scale, and rotation. Today, I'm going to be focusing on position. In order to animate these values, editors use things called keyframes that remember the value of the parameter that is set upon the specific frame. If I make two keyframes and change the value of one of them, there will be a line created between them that represents the in-between values of the other frames. This will be our first animation graph and will cause a linear animation. This can be visualized in the motion graph editor panel or also known as the spline editor. But here we can fine tune our animation even more by bending this graph any way that we want. The way that we want the way that we're able to do this is through the use of cubic Bezier curves. Cubic Bezier curves first start out as a line segment and a point. This point moves along the line segment and its position on the line can be represented by a value like t, which is on a scale from 0 to 1. This whole segment calculation is called linear interpretation, or LERP for short. What we can do with this LERP is chain multiple of them together and make new LERPs with our other t points. When we do this enough, we can get one final point which will show the path of our cubic Bezier curve. This whole process is known as the Castillo's algorithm and it can be represented as this formula right here. So how does the program use Bezier curves? On the program, the keyframes that we set remember a frame value and a parameter value, which is shown as both axes in our motion editor. We can adjust these handles, which are the same as the two outer middle points of the lerp chain, so we can shape our curve. If we export one of our splines out of the program and look at the code in a notepad, we can see that all the program does is remember the x and y points of the keyframe values and the ends of the handles. Since these numbers correspond to points on our graph and the Bezier curve, it can recreate the graphs perfectly. So this is the math behind how this video editing program uses Bezier curves in order to control animation. A little bit of additional extra information I wanted to add, and then also the reason why I wanted to put out this video is that if we take those numbers that we saw in the notepad, and we are somehow able to code something in order to like make those numbers, like apply apply those numbers as like a preset to other numbers on like a different scale, we can possibly make our own flow editor in DaVinci Resolve. But it just takes a lot of time and to know like what kind of formula that we need. And we also need to find a way to export the SPL files because right now you can only make SPL files in DaVinci Resolve. So, I mean, like once that is figured out, I mean, we got a good chance of having our own flow editor.